one foot flipper. Hey Paige here, the one foot flipper. Uh, come in with another video for you. I have been overwhelmed with the number of subscribers and comments and everything I've been getting. I only started this channel last week and as of right now, uh, I have 382 subscribers and that number seems to just keep going up. My wife is bothering me to buy better clothes and to get a haircut because I don't look good enough on the videos. I just like to thank all of you and uh, I'd like to thank Old School Picker for the insp some of the inspiration he's given me. I don't think I've mentioned him before. I've just had so many comments and questions. Uh, a few people have asked about how I lost the leg and what happened was uh, December of 2019 I got really sick. I thought I had the flu. It was the sickest I had ever been. It got worse and worse to the point where I was getting disoriented and having the urge to flee the room that I was in for whatever reason. And finally it got to where I couldn't breathe right and we called the ambulance and they hauled me off to the hospital. Uh, and I don't and at that point is where it all starts to go a little fuzzy for me because they immediately had to put me in, into a coma so I didn't die. I eventually did die for a few minutes later on, but I didn't die then. And it turns out I had gotten a, a bacterial infection in my right leg. It was a rare flesh-eating bacteria. Yes, those are real. That's not native to the area at all. And it's... Uh, I hadn't traveled, I had done nothing that should have gotten this to me. And my right leg didn't look any different than my left leg. I was heavier at the time and both my legs looked pretty bad, but they looked exactly the same. So I had no idea that I had an infected leg. And in this coma, they had to, they started cutting me off at the foot and they had to do it several times, go up higher and higher and higher until they finally went off right above the knee and they got it. This was a pretty rough time for my family and my daughter in particular. I didn't get to see her for about two weeks. It was very frightening for her and I think it has still affected her to this day. Okay, enough about that sad stuff for now. I will come back in other videos for more stories about that. Uh, now I think, why don't we look at a, a few people have asked about my setup here. So let's look at some of the tools that I use. Okay, my desk looks like a nightmare. That's one of the bad things about selling cards is that you get all these little bitty things all over the place. I use three monitors so I can get up to six windows going actively, which is very useful, particularly when selling cards in particular, because I will have a camera window up, a card database up, a listing window, my stock window to make sure that I'm not doubling up on a listing. Uh, there's, here's the camera. I use this camera. This is an Ipivo Ziggy. If you can even see it, maybe I should hold it over here. This is a, these are only about $35. It's a mounted document camera. This allows me to take pictures of cards and small things while I list, which saves you an incredible amount of time compared to taking pictures of them with the phone. Uh, that is my label printer. I use a Zebra. That is heavier duty than what most resellers use, but we use Zebras at the uh, store I used to work at, so I was already used to them, and I knew how reliable they were, so I've got two of them. I bought I bought two used ones. I've, well, I bought one used one, got going with it, and then I just, after hearing somebody else's video talk about having a backup for everything, I realized I need a backup zebra printer. If that thing goes down, I'm in trouble. So I got myself a second zebra printer that I keep in the basement as a spare. I also keep a spare model of the uh, keyboard that I use. I use a mechanical keyboard with no number pad. I'm very particular about that. Anything else, I type slower on. So I keep a spare of the exact same model of that right there so I've got no worries about losing my keyboard. Uh, we can look at a few things that I've sold today. I'm not going to go over everything, just a few of the more interesting things. Know your scales and arpeggios, or is it arpeggios? This came out of a three bin, sold for 
a empty perfume bottle. This only sold for a few bucks, but the thing is, this came in a whole whole box of perfume bottles, some full, some empty, some partial, that I bought for a dollar at a garage sale. That box has gotten me hundreds of dollars in sales so far, and it still just continues to uh, get me sales, although I think that might be changing because apparently eBay is cracking down on open perfume now, even antique perfume. So I don't know how long that's still going to work for me. My listings are still up. Uh, I sold these two gaming books, Weird War 1. They sold for about $13 each. The person bought them in separate transactions for some reason. A lot of people do that. Don't know why. guess they don't know that there's a shopping cart. And finally, of interest, let's see. I sold these. I'm going to turn it around and just show a picture of them. I sold these Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Space Marines for $50. They're painted. They're old metal ones. I love selling stuff like this, even though it takes a long time to figure out what it is half the time. Those guys are already kind of wrapped up, so I don't want to unwrap them for this video. And it looks like I still have things downstairs to get, so we've got to go get them now. Okay, we're going to try something I don't normally do. I've got the GoPro strapped on here, kind of weirdly, because I can't find all of my mounts. But we're going to show a little bit of my picking process. Normally, people carry the cameras around with them, but I can't do that because I am either need my hands to do the wheelchair or I'm hopping on one leg and can barely balance. So I've got a GoPro mount on instead. Here's my dog, Parker. She's hanging out. And... Here's the stairs. Stairs are... Everybody with one leg is a huge fan of stairs. I've either got to put my leg on to uh, go down them, which is... Walking on my leg isn't all that painful, but going down steps on it is. So instead, I'm just going down on my butt. I forgot to bring a bag with me to... Put all the stuff in. Oh, the dog's behind me. She's trying to come down with me. That's great. There's a little doggy door. I installed that after we got the dog. Use the old death wheel to cut a hole in the door and put that in because I cannot be running up and down the steps every time the dog needs to get in. That would be a nightmare. But like I said, I forgot to bring a bag to put this stuff in. That's one of the, the downfalls of having going places being difficult and moving around being hard you got to learn how to not forget things now we are in my basement which is full of stuff i'm hopping along here till i can get to the wheelchair and then i will start picking from the wheelchair okay let's see what we need to get here As you can see, the basement is just loaded with shelves and stuff. Let's look at my sales here. I always feel like some people, when they make these videos, they cheat it because they always seem to find the items way too easy. Okay, those things are all upstairs. Cards. Box 5 is upstairs. BC. We're going to Tub BC to look for a... Stalingrad War Game. Where is it at? Okay. BC is right here and oh, Stalingrad War Game. There it is. Uh, this sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Uh, it came from an estate buy that long paid for itself, so I'm at a hundred percent on the profit in this item see what's next Robin Hood Prince of Thieves that's upstairs sealed VHS magic cards somebody bought 34 Pokemon cards from me last night that's always awesome when that happens uh, perfume bottle that's upstairs did I come downstairs for one item I might have 
Warhammer Chaos Marines, another card. Pink Floyd, Umagama. I didn't really sell records before, but I found a really good buy of them. Uh, I bought a whole box of them for $30 in an estate recently. A box minus the box. They thought that their off-brand uh, record box was wooden record box was super valuable and they wanted $30 just for that box but I left that box behind but got all the records for 30 and most of it was rock so that is going to do good once I can find it the records have and I bought ended up spending $70 on rec record mailers so I actually have more money invested in record mailers than I do in records right now but the ones that have sold have already paid for everything I have invested in the records and the record mailer. So they're all profit at this point. I need to alphabetize these. They're not alphabetized because I'm apparently I'm not too bright with things like that. At least none of them are upside down anymore. Santana there. Oh, but some of them are backwards. Isn't that great? On the side here, little river band. I know, watch, all the pink foliage are going to be together right at the end. I'm going to have to have gone through all of these. The Who. Steppenwolf, Edgar Winter. I might have to learn how to cut things out. I have no idea how to cut video out yet. I know how to stitch videos together. Starship. I saw Jefferson Starship live in concert not too long ago. It's the last concert I went to. Got to watch from the side of the stage backstage because an internet friend was apparently one of their tech people and he didn't have anybody in town to invite other than me. So he invited me. Nice. Is Pink Floyd really going to be the last record here? Or did I miss it? I missed it. Okay, we're all going to pretend that last part didn't happen. The next thing I need is a Pink Floyd Umagama record. Oh, look, there it is. Double LP. And apparently, I went down to my basement to only get two things that I forgot to bring a bag with me to go up. So I'm going to set them right here so my I can retrieve them later when I get a bag or my wife can carry them up. And now I get to go back up the steps on my butt. At least the dog didn't stay in the basement. Got to keep her out of the basement because I've got one of those dogs who likes to take things and bring them to the backyard. So far, I don't think she's ever taken any eBay things to the backyard, but she's sure taken a lot of shoes and clothes and my daughter's stuff. She never takes my shoe, for, which, which I'm very thankful for because that'd be awesome trying to go around my backyard with no shoe on because I only have two pairs of shoes because it, it's so difficult to change the shoes on the uh, artificial leg. I've got one pair that I wear all the time and then one fancy pair that I would not be wearing out in my muddy backyard. So okay we're almost to the top of the steps. Here's the dicey part where I put my one leg on the top step. Look at my hands here. Stand up. All right, and we're in the chair. That's how I get things out of my stock room. I bet your process is easier if you sell things, isn't it? Now that we've got everything out of the basement, I uh, guess I'll talk about some of my goals right now. I'm trying desperately to get my basement into a better order. I'd love to get my whole business down there, but my wife is very against it. She wants me upstairs on the main level, but it's very hard for me when most of my inventory is down a flight of steps and it's, as you just saw, it's 
hard to go up and down those steps. And also, my bigger goal right now is to save for a new house. I'm in a very small house right now that has, you know, multiple levels. Main floor, there's a finished attic that I never go into anymore because it's the stairs for it are steeper than the other stairs. It's just too difficult for me to go up and down there safely. So I never go up there. Keep hoping my daughter will move her room up there so we can empty out her room on this floor and use it as a living room again, since I don't have one anymore. But so right now I'm saving for a new house. Thankfully, eBay has paid my house off. My eBay sales have paid this current house off. It not it not instantly, but when I got out of the hospital, I owed $58,000 on my house. And after two years of eBay this August, I paid that house off 17 years early. So now I'm saving for a new one. Not going to get another mortgage, both because the hospital bills that the insurance companies dodged out on wrecked my credit, which was previously pristine. And because since I'm self-employed now, my self-employed income I've got to have years of that before it counts. And I also, if anything happens to me, now that I've tasted death, I don't want my my wife to be stuck with a mortgage payment that she might not be able to pay or won't be able to pay. We have a paid off house now. My next house will be paid off as well. So I need to save myself about $125,000 to buy a bigger house that is more suited to somebody who spends most of their time in a wheelchair. Because I don't know in the future, if, right now I can walk with my prosthetic leg, but Am I going to be able to do that when I'm 60? Am I going to be able to do that when I'm 70? I don't know. So I need to purchase a house that is more wheelchair friendly. Okay, now we're going to now we're going to go into a little bit of sale video. Okay, uh, hopefully the audio is better on this now that it's been in previous voiceovers. My friend Adam gave me a little bit of trouble about that, so I bought a microphone on Amazon yesterday. Uh, we're going to go into this garage sale here. Didn't spend a lot of money here, but I've definitely made all my money back off this sale already. And then some. This sale is mostly going to be sporting equipment. Now, one thing that happens after you lose a leg and can't participate in most sports anymore is that sporting equipment starts falling out of the sky. I have more skateboards. Uh, high-end golf clubs and baseball bats than I ever, ever did before. I never once had a nice skateboard when I was young and actually liked a skateboard, but oh boy, do I have them now. And uh, with my particular disability, it is absolutely impossible to skateboard. Not that I'm sure as a 45-year-old fat man that I would be skateboarding anyway, but it is completely impossible. I'm just wandering around. I considered that kneeboard, but it just looks so big. So I didn't look it up, but I just went past it. I probably should have bought every single thing on this table, but my wife gets mad when I buy sporting equipment because it doesn't always move fast or some of it's for Facebook Marketplace. Uh, really, I need to see if there's one of those places in town... Uh, Played Again Sports. Uh, I know there's uh, one YouTuber, Played Again Rick, who does nothing but that. He just brings the stuff right in there, which maybe that's what I should be doing with at least the golf clubs. Because I've got three golf bags in my basement right now, full of clubs that I got a little bit too late in the season to sell, and they're taking up a lot of space. Uh, I've sold these bats okay. already, or at least well, then, some of them. I got like 14 bucks worth of stuff here. 10 do it. Or what? I got about 14. Mentally, I got about 14 dollars added up. Will 10 do it? That's fine. Okay. Okay, honey, we're gonna get the gloves, the bats, the catcher stuff. Okay. Now, I don't know Wait, enough about money, no money. bats and gloves to pick them individually, That's but so when the prices are right, like they are here, I just buy all of them. There's my, my daughter really has an eye for clothes that don't fit her. She loves to go to garage sales and pick out something that's th two sizes too small and want to buy it. She's not a tiny little girl anymore. She's big enough where, you know, she wears teenager sizes, adult women sizes, you know. Not, not a children's small. 
that's kind of a constant thing with her is trying to buy those things. Once again, I'm sure I passed up a lot of stuff here, good bags and everything else. Can you hear my dog in the background there? My dog is ripping up a cardboard box or something. Yeah, I passed up those other sports bags. I think I bought that red red thing on the end. I might not have. Once I lost the leg, skateboards and high-end golf clubs and every, every sport equipment in the world just started falling out of the sky for me. Take three on him. You got five on him. I've either already yeah, sold that backpack or I forgot to list it. I'm not sure which. If I did sell it, it I, I had a couple of them. If I sold it, it was very good money, like $60, $70, $80, something like that. Oh, it looks like that's the end of that. The video is playing over again. Uh, hey, thanks to everyone for watching. Thank you to all my all my subscribers if you're not one of them please hit that hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you want to apparently youtube likes that so i guess i like it too thank you so much so much be sure and visit that ebay store i haven't had a uh, viewer sale yet so you could be the very first one i will mention any and all viewer sales in my videos so buy something send me a note thanks again bye